हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ प्रोफेसर आर बी वगैसिया एंड आई हार्टली वेलकम टू डियर ऑल स्टूडेंट्स इन माई यूट्यूब चैनल डियर स्टूडेंट्स लास्ट वीडियो लेक्चर वी हैव टू डिस्कस अबाउट दी एंड कॉर्डर एंड देन टूडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग अबाउट दी डी कॉर्डर नाउ फर्स्ट वन हॉट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ डी कॉर्डर डी कॉर्डर इज नथिंग बट इट इज अगेन वन ऑफ द कॉम्बिनेशनल सर्किट इट इज द कॉम्बिनेशनल सर्किट circuit uh, that can be can be perform the inverse operation inverse operation of encoder right so this is the combinational circuit uh, dear students we all know about that if any uh, any device is the combinational circuit that means that does not re uh, require the any memory elements right so basically uh, that the decoder is the combinational circuit and that can be perform the inverse operation of encoder right so now designing the block diagram of decoder so this is the decoder and we can applying the different input these all are the input signal and the number of input that can be represented as n and this is the output of decoder so this is the m output and that is the maximum value of m equal to 2 raised to m so this is the basic block diagram of the decoder so now dear students the typical applications of the decoders applications of the decoder the decoder can be used as a code converter decoder can be also used as a bcd to 7 segment decoder decoder is also next i tube decoder and the last one is relay actuator this is the typical applications of the decoder first one is the code converter second one is bcd to 7 segment decoder then next it tube decoder and relay actuator right so dear students now first one we have to start about the two to four line decoders so in this decoder so first one we designing the block diagram of 2 to 4 line decoder dear students we know about that 2 means uh, that can be represent as a input and 4 that can be represent as a output so we can designing the block diagram of 2 to 4 line decoders this is the 2 to 4 line decoder so we can applying the two input signal and the name is given as a and b this is the input and here we have to generate the four outputs and the name is d0 d1 d2 and d3 this is the output right so now using this block diagram we can designing the truth table of 2 to 4 line decoders first one is input now this is the output so 
we can apply the two input and we have to generate the four output. <coughs> this is the two input A and B and this is the two uh, four output. The name is D0, D1, D2 and D3. Right? So two, we can apply the two inputs. So we are getting the possible combination of input 2 raised to 2 means for either 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So first one both are the 0, 0. So that means the weightage of the first bit is 1 and the weightage of the second bit is 2 means both are the 0 0 so we can select the D0 input the remaining inputs are 0 now A is 0 and B is 1 means the weightage of this bit is 1 so D1 can be selected the remaining 3 inputs are 0 now the third input possible 1 and 0 the weightage of the bit, this bit is 2 so D2 are selected the remaining 3 outputs are 0 and here is the first is 1 as well as the second is also 1 2 plus 1 means 3 d3 are selected remaining 3 are the 0 this is the basic truth table of the 2 to 4 line decoders so now using this truth table uh, we can designing the circuit diagrams and characteristic equation of this output signal so first one is what is the characteristic equation of d0 this is the d0 equal to so in, in each and every times only D0 is single times that can be 1 right at the time input is A is 0 as well as B is also 0 and 0 can be represented as a complement signals. Now second is D1 the where D, D1 is 1 yes only the single ones are there. So at the time input is A is 0 and B is 1. So A is 0 this is the bar and B is 1 and the third one is D2 only single time that can be 1 so this is the D2 so where D2 is 1 A is 1 and B is 0 so A is B bar and last one is D3 so D3 this is 1 so A is 1 as well as B is also 1 so now using this 4 equation we can designing the circuit diagram of two to four line decoders. So first one is uh, that every output can be represented with the multiplication operation. So multiplication operation can be done with the AND gate. So we can utilize the four AND gate. Right. So first AND gate can be represented with the D0 second end gate can be represented with the D1 uh, this is the D2 and this is the D3 so D0 is A bar dot B bar uh, D1 is A bar dot B uh, D2 is A dot B bar and D3 is A dot B now we can apply the two input signal this is the first input A and we can use the one not get so this is the a bar now this is the second input b and we can utilize the one not get this is the p bar so first case d0 we can apply a bar dot b bar and this is the p bar now second case a bar dot b this is the a bar and b third case a dot b bar this is the a and this is the b bar and last one is a dot b So this is the basic circuit diagram of 2 to 4 line decoder. Right? Now similar way we can designing the 3 to 8 line decoders.
so this is the second type of the code conver uh, converter decoder first one is 2 to 4 line decoder now we can utilize the 3 to 8 line decoders so dear students uh, in previous 2 to 4 line decoder we can utilize the 2 input and 4 output now we can implement the 3 to 8 line decoders so we can utilize the 3 input and 4 8 output signals are there so first one we can designing the block diagram of 3 to 8 line decoders This is the 3 to 8 line decoder. So we can apply the 3 inputs. And the name is A, B, and C. This is the input. And uh, we are getting the 8 output. 1, 2, D0, D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, D6 and last one is D7. This is the output. Right? So now dear students we can design in the truth table of 3 to 8 line decoders. So we can apply the 3 inputs. And this output how many outputs the eight outputs are there this is the input a b c this is the output d0 d1 or d2 d3 d4 D5 D6 and D7 so this is the input and output of D0, D1, D2, D3 and D7 up to D7 now uh, we can apply the three inputs. So possible combination of input signal is eight. First one is zero zero zero. Second possible zero zero one. Third possible combination zero one zero. Then zero one one. One zero zero. One zero one. One one zero. One one one, right? So uh, this is the three to eight line decoder truth table, right? So first one is all are the zero. Dear students, now we know about that the weightage of the C is one, weightage of the B is two, and the weightage of the A is four. So first one is the, all are the zero. That means for D zero are selected. The remaining inputs are zero. So first one is if the C is one and the remaining two are zero so d1 output are selected the remaining all outputs are zero so now if b is one so that d2 output are selected the remaining outputs are zero if b and c is one so two plus one d3 output are selected the remaining outputs are zero similar way this is the d4 are selected this is the four plus one d5 are selected Now 4 plus 2, D6 are selected and the last one is 1 plus 2 plus 4, 7, D7 are selected. So this is the truth table of 3 to 8 line decoders. Now using this truth table uh, we can find the equation of 
d0 to d7 outputs so first one is this d0 then d1 d2 d3 then d4 d5 d6 and d7 so now to find the equation of d0 d0 uh, this is the d0 and the only single time that can be one right single time so input of this is a0 is b0 is and c0 is zero. zero can be represented with the complement a bar dot b bar dot c bar second d1 d1 is only single times one c is one so this is the a bar dot b dot c uh, this one is one so this is a bar dot b dot c bar for this one a bar dot b dot c d4 a dot b bar dot c bar d5 d5 a dot b bar dot c bar a dot b dot c bar and a dot b dot c now using this equation we can designing the circuit diagram of 3 to 8 line decoder so we are getting the our 8 outputs and the, all the output in the form of the multiplication so dear students we know about that multiplication can be represented with the AND gate so we can use the 8 AND gate So this is the total AND gates are there. Now uh, we can apply the three input A, B and C. So this is the input A and D using the NOT gate. So this is the A bar. Uh, this is the B and this is the B bar uh, this is the C and C bar 3 inputs are there so first one is this is the D0 so D0 means we can apply A bar, B bar and C bar right so this is the A bar, and this is the C bar, and this is the B bar. Now second one is D1, so D1 is C and A bar and B bar, right? So this is the A bar, uh, this is the B bar, and this C. Now third one is D2, D2 is A bar and C bar. So this is the C bar and A bar. So this is the A bar. And B, B are this. So this is the D2. Now D3 a bar dot b dot c uh, this is the a bar b and this c so this is the d3 now d4 uh, d4 is that what is the d4 a dot b bar dot c bar a dot b bar dot c bar uh, this is the d5 this is the d6 and this is the d7 so what is the value of d5 uh, d5 is a dot b bar dot c bar uh, d6 is a dot 
b dot c bar and d7 is a dot b dot c so now given the input of d4 now d4 is a dot b bar dot c bar so this is the c bar b bar uh, this is the b bar and a is given so this is the a now d5 a dot b dot c this is the a then b bar dot c bar and this is the c bar and the b bar uh, this is the b bar now a is given again this is the a b and c this is the b bar and c bar c bar is this one right so this is the a and b and the c so this is the circuit diagram of 3 to 8 line decoder so dear students a similar way we can designing the any types of the decoders